Today, I have something very exciting to share with you guys. There has been some buzz around about new tech being discovered in Super Mario Bros. 3. And it is in fact true. There has been some new tech discovered in Super Mario Bros. 3, which is like, it is one of the oldest games. And there's still things being found out. Um, it comes from an interesting story, but I'm not going to go into much detail on that. What I really want to do is kind of teach you guys and show you guys what exactly this new tech is and how it works and how we can apply it to our runs. Now, keep in mind, this isn't a time save, okay? This is something that allows us to potentially cut out one extra 50-50 in our run, depending if other 50-50s have taken place. Now, it's not exactly 50-50, but there's no way for us RTA guys to really know in the heat of the moment what kind of odds we're dealing with, so um, this is the best way. I'm going to use World 6 as, as an example so I can show you guys the tech. As you see, we have the two Hammer Brothers on the overworld map, okay? I'm gonna use my mouse so you guys can see. We got one right here, okay? And we got one right here, okay? Now, what is new that's been discovered, we can determine what item the Hammer Brother has depending on what direction they're facing after they do their overworld movement. Let me go in and I'm gonna break down the steps. So, we can determine which Hammer Brother has which item, okay? So, uh, we already know what item this Hammer Brother has because uh, whenever you start a world, the Hammer Brothers start in the same place every time. The green screen was not liking the white shirt. Now, we already know that that Hammer Brother has the hammer, right? And we know the Hammer Brother that we can already see when we start the world, that's the one with the cloud. This is where this kind of thing become useful because what we're going to do is we're going to go off screen and we have to do this fortress. Now, I'm just going to equip the P-Wing. Okay, well... We're gonna start over again, but that's good. The Hammer Brothers are actually gonna switch up. We have no idea where they went or what they're doing. We have no clue. One of them is a one of them is a cloud, and one of them is a star. We don't want the star when we get to World Six. We only want the cloud. They're moving off screen right now. We have no idea where they're moving, and that's where this new tech comes in. I'm gonna say right now, I want to give all the credit to somebody named Intomo. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly who actually came into my chat and was trying to tell me, and I was very, very not so pleasant towards the idea. Me and some other guys have been running this game for a long time, and this game has had a lot of work put into it, so it's really, really hard to believe that just a standard viewer, someone who doesn't even speed around the game, come in with this new, guess what, we can figure this out. So, there was a bet, and I lost the bet, but what came from the bet is something very good. So, like I said, we don't know which Hammer Brother that is. Is it the star? I hope it's not the star. I don't want the star. I want the cloud. Now, how am I supposed to know which item that Hammer Brother has? Okay, so here's the ticket. I'm going to beat level four, and the Hammer Brother's going to do his little movement, his little ch 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 okay? And then he's going to do what he's doing right now, his little back and forth, back and forth. However, before he starts that back and forth, back and forth, but after he does this little move up or down, he's going to face a direction. The cloud and the star both face different directions before they start the little shuffle they're doing right now. This is what we know. The cloud will face left, okay? The cloud will face left after he does his overworld movement every time, every single time. I'm gonna get the same move after every safe state, but okay, they're gonna move, okay? Okay, so this hammer brother right here he stayed facing left, and this Hammer Brother faced right after his movement. Do it one more time. Let's see what kind of movement we get. Focus. You gotta focus on the Hammer Brother. He went instant. He faced instantly to the right. So we know that this one is the star. Okay. I will. I can successfully guess every single time. This Hammer Brother is in fact the star because he was facing right. Let's do it again. Okay, we know which Hammer Brother is which, depending on what way they face after their move. We'll move the screen over, then hopefully by doing this, I beat the level at a different time every time. We want, we want to jumble it up a lot. There we go. There we go. They moved around a lot. Okay, so we have no idea which Hammer Brother is which. Okay, so we're gonna... We'll save state here. So we're gonna beat this level. So he faced right, which means he's the star. The star will always face right. So I know for sure that this guy's the star. And that is the new tech, essentially. 
This tech applies to every other Hammer Brother in the game. It doesn't help when you can already see the Hammer Brother on the screen. So let's say the start of World 5. I know which Hammer Brothers are which because I can see them and I can always see them. It works perfectly for this world because we have to do the fortress off screen and we don't know where the heck they're moving. Problem is though, is that right there. Okay, so let's just say for example, I, I got the cloud. My next move is to break that brick. But I can't because the Hammer Brothers is in my way. That is the new tech. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we can look out for it in uh, future runs. Thanks for watching, guys. Whee!